Channel 3 Early Warning Weather. We have our alert, of course, for heavy rain renewing the potential for uh, flooding on Friday. Meanwhile, today it was certainly hot. Humidity levels starting to creep back up. We were able to hit, uh, an, uh, in fact, uh, exceed the 90 degree mark in locations across interior Connecticut. So for keeping tally at home, our ninth day to do so uh, for the Hartford area in 2023. We did not hit 90 yesterday, so even if we do so tomorrow, we will not have our second heat wave of the year. Want to show you rainfall totals from late Sunday into Monday of this past weekend and early this week. Two to five with locally higher inches there in southeast Connecticut, uh, northwest Connecticut. The bullseye with four to nine inches is because of all of that heavy rain uh, with just an additional inch or two on Friday that will certainly uh, quickly renew that potential again for some flooding across Connecticut. At our climate reporting stations, pretty notable surpluses. Four and a half inches to date for the Hartford area, nearly two inches uh, in Bridgeport. So after a couple of showers clipped northern and northwest Connecticut earlier uh, this evening, early warning pinpoint Doppler, it is scanning dry. And temperatures really all across the board, upper 60s from the northwest hills where we had a couple showers, 78 Hartford. We just now dipped to the upper 70s, still low 80s for New Haven and Bridgeport 73 right now in Willimantic. So we had a brief reprieve from the humidity, but it's going to go back to tropical oppressive levels starting tomorrow and lasting uh, for the next several days, even into early next week. Uh, so that's not going away anytime soon, and that will actually help to fuel the thunderstorms in those periods of rain on Friday that will be heavy. 74 right now looking live from Waterbury. We're dry, pleasant evening. Otherwise, a warm and muggy underway across the state looking live from Mystic. Pretty tranquil there. So uh, the showers and uh, downpours and thunderstorms that we saw fire up in a scattered nature earlier today, diminishing with the loss of the daytime heating. But looking at the big picture, that storm system that uh, Mark and Aaron told you about bringing tornadoes and Stephanie spoke of uh, there across uh, Chicago land. Uh, this storm system as a whole shifts in our direction and basically stalls. Waves of low pressure will be riding along that. That's why we're going to see more heavy rain here in Connecticut, not only Friday, but even potentially later Saturday into Sunday of this upcoming weekend. So overnight tonight, bottoming out in the upper 60s and low 70s, certainly mild and muggy. We've got fog that develops kind of patchy in nature by early tomorrow morning. Once that burns off, we'll see a mix of sun and clouds. And like today, just a slight chance for an isolated shower or thunderstorm, primarily western and northwest Connecticut. Uh, but those uh, chances will be increasing tomorrow night and even more so into Friday. So for our Thursday, uh, temperatures top out in the upper 80s and low 90s. But that humidity again, higher tomorrow compared to what we experienced today. So here's like a future cast tomorrow night. Uh, We'll see some spotty showers on Friday, and, and just the timing is general here. Basically, it's not going to rain all day long, but there will be periods of rain, and when that co rain comes down, uh, we could be talking about downpours across the state. So that, will again, will renew that potential uh, for flooding, uh, basement flooding, smaller streams, creeks, and rivers. Those will rapidly rise first, and then, again, some flash flooding also cannot be ruled out. Uh, so we'll look at our rainfall totals here. The GFS, the American model, uh, certainly lower than what the European European uh, model is outputting, uh, but basically we're thinking at this point an inch or two locally higher amounts and also on Friday, the storm prediction center outlining parts of southern New England for a threat for storms that could be strong, even severe damaging winds uh, will be the biggest concern. Of course, we'll be here monitoring the entire situation from the early warning forecast center. The WFSB weather app also a great resource as alerts are issued. They're delivered directly to your phone. Of course, you can uh, get on the app and uh, track any rain that's developing or thunderstorm with the interactive radar. They the humidity sticks around Saturday. We're looking at isolated thunderstorms, otherwise sun and clouds. With enough sun, we hit the upper 80s. Overnight lows will be in the lower 70s for the foreseeable future. Sunday could be a repeat of Friday. We could see another round of rain that could be heavy at times. Monday, a drier day. Then Tuesday, a thunderstorm threat in association with a cold front that could finally bring some relief from the heat and humidity. By next Wednesday, the humidity drops with highs in the mid-80s. Okay, Mark, thank you very much. Still ahead for you.